Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Rogue. Sorry I didn't record yesterday, I meant to, but my mouth was even worse, so that didn't happen. Sorry. Uh, ooh, a ring. Uh, P. F? Yay, I guessed right. <laughs> and yes, that was totally a guess. I'm I'm not even gonna take credit for that. Plaid potion. I still really wanna know how you make a liquid plaid. Ooh, sleepy bat. Sorry my voice is really bad today. But I was out all, all night rather. I was about to say all day, so I paused. But I was out and it was crowded, so I had to be really loud. And now my throat is all scratchy. So I probably sound like I've been smoking or something. Oh, I ran face first into a snake. That's not fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably not gonna record quite that much today, unless I get a really successful character or something, and they fuck up my plans. Cool, I one-shot an emu. I don't know why that's cool or at all relevant to anything, but I did it. And shoot the castle. Cool. <laughs> I love that we shot it point blank, too. No, not eat. There. Don't want to eat the mace, I want to wield it. Fucker. Oh, speaking of eating. Oh, there's a hot goblin there. <laughs> I am not very observant today. Hello, snake. I like this part before the snakes become poisonous. Always in something I don't really like. Yeah, it seems like we're at the point where monsters are just spawning out of nowhere. So let's get out of here. And snake, and it's awake. Hey, we leveled from it then. It's not bad. It's a staircase right away. More hobgoblin. Another ring? Yeah. K. Okay. Put on K. A diamond ring. Ooh, fancy. I wonder if it's magical or if it's just a random ring that we found in a dungeon somewhere. Which, I don't know. I guess it's kind of nice to find a diamond in the middle of some monster infested dungeon, but still. In a world where magic is a thing and things can be, um, hungry, and things can be cursed and such, I don't know. Personally, I'd probably be more wary about putting on anything I found in here, but, I don't know, I'm crazy. Also, to come in here in the first place, you probably have to be kind of crazy, right? Seriously. I don't think anybody who's in their right mind would... back and move on. Uh, again, I forgot to... I keep doing that. I keep forgetting to equip, equip the mace after I shoot something to death. Cool. That one didn't last very long. And we got some food. It's good because we already went through our first two rations. Why were we so hungry? Ha, I remember before you bit me. Success, sort of. 
Why are we going through so much food? Can we pick up like a ring of hunger or something? I don't know if that's actually a thing you can get in this game. I'm not really going to say I would be surprised by it. Like, seriously. Just seems like the kind of thing this game would do. Um, thank you. Her rattlesnake took a lot of hits. And we got more food. Well, at least we're finding enough food. Switch back to the maze before something attacks. Like this. Yeah, we definitely had to have gotten something that wasn't good for us. Like, we have to have a cursed ring on or something. What? Oh, food rations are L now. Okay. Huh. I was say, saying something, but I don't remember what it was. I really don't. For some reason, I always think the bees are like black bears because of Dwarf Fortress. I get really concerned, and then I remember it's just a bat. Uh, secret? Secret. Secret money. Not bad. A lot of gold for level three. Oh, Castro. Uh, scroll. Uh, rattlesnake. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get in. There's no way I was going to get far enough away from that rattlesnake to actually, like, shoot it properly. The strength is pretty high, though. We must have gotten something. Probably the ring that improved it. Ooh. Ice monster. But it's sleeping, at least. And it's dead before it got close. Nice. Mace. Ha! I remembered. I remembered a thing. Yay, me! That really is kind of an accomplishment, if you... Okay, really, um... There has to be something where it's making us sick, right? So, the diamond ring... was the strength ring. Yeah. And bad tasting food, but it's something. Actually, that's better than good food. I've explained this before. Ah, I find it kind of funny that bad tasting food actually gives you experience. I don't know if that's something I would implement if I were to make a roguelike, but it's something I like in this one. And we lost all of our bonus strength. A lot of snakes in this dungeon. I have no idea why there are so many snakes. Ooh, staff? Can you zap a staff? Apparently. Huh. I don't know if that did anything. It's interesting, though. Secret? No, emu. Not even a secret emu, just a regular one. I really don't like those because they murdered me in the last episode. Which is definitely a spoiler for the last episode, but I get the feeling if you watch this episode, you've probably either seen the last episode or you have no plans to watch it. Okay, another ring. Q. No. Put on Q. Zircon ring. Um, I don't know what that did. I'm paying enough attention for these rings, like. I never know what they do unless something really weird happens, like I teleport. I really like that ring, actually. I wish I had it back. Oh, I didn't... I didn't realize we hadn't found the staircase yet. I thought I was just exploring to fill out the map. Ooh, dark room. 
tiny dark room. Yeah, yeah, tiny dark room with nothing in it apparently. Uh, except maybe secret. Yes, secret orcs. Speaking of orcs. Have one following us, apparently. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've had a first character who's made it past floor two, actually, in a while, anyway. That's yeah, pretty nice. It's getting kind of sick of dying at floor one or two every time. It gets old. <laughs> so it's nice to see floor 5 again. Although, I, am, I out of, am I out of food again? I am. Well, shit. I have two J scrolls, though. Teleport. Okay. I think that returned us to the entrance, actually. No, because we started over here in the dark room. So I have no idea what that like, where that was meant to teleport us, if anywhere. Uh, I think it might have just been a random teleport, which... Honestly isn't that bad. I mean, especially since we can control this random teleport, unlike that ring that I still want back. <laughs> It's actually pretty handy. Um, weapon trap? Arrow trap. Hey, an arrow. Cool. Thanks. I fainted. Because I have no food. Yeah, this is what starvation is like, basically. We just keep fainting. <laughs> oh, there's no room in my bag. Um, hmm. Oops. Drop F for the potion. And cloth for the potion. Worm all over. Um, I think that was... Strength? I don't know. It's a potion of warm. <sighs> Fuck if I know. I seriously should know with how much I play this game, but... I don't. Hello, Hobgoblin, who's attacking me in my sleep. It's rude. You should at least wait for me to wake up. <sighs> Food, yes. F. Tastes awful, but you know what? You're passing the fuck out, you can eat it. Don't be picky right now. Um, obvious secret is obvious. I just don't know where it is, but it's obvious there is a secret. Anyway. I just don't know where. Probably in this room that I just left. Maybe? There has to be a secret here. Like, literally, there has to be. And I'm not blind. Am I just getting really unlucky with the searches? Apparently. Um. the button longer than I should have, but... And I think I lost some... No, it said I lost some strength. But apparently I didn't. That's weird. 
I'm just happy to be out of that little trap. Ah, that normally doesn't happen. Normally you can find the secrets in like three or four tries. Or the enemy will just walk out of the door like that. So I don't know why it was so hard to find that one. Random number generator, I guess. Level six and we're hungry again. Come back your bat. I wanna murder you. And honestly I would consider you know, eating you right now. Because I need food really badly. Um, dead end? No. Room. Cool. Secrets on this floor, damn. A lot of pointless secrets, too. Kestrel. Well, I fainted. Yes, I keep passing out, thank you. Um, well, we searched until we fainted and didn't find anything, so maybe that's a dead end. I somewhat doubt it, but... There's probably not any f food down there. I keep getting interrupted by fainting. Uh, and now castles. These are not orcs. Orcs could actually do quite a bit of damage to me if I were fainted. Which, of course, means an orc will spawn in in a couple minutes. Food? Nope. Fainted next to an orc. Who can't seem to hit me. Oh, never mind. He hit me. Ten shuriken. Um, blatant secret. And passing out, and passing out on top of piles of gold, and passing out, <laughs> and passing out. Come on, just need to find food. Is there anything in my inventory edible? No, there is not. Huh. I don't think potions can make you not hungry. Really, two secrets on the same like, straight path. Centaur. That's not a good thing to fight when I'm passing out. Yeah. Okay, um... One more character. And if, when this one inevitably dies a short and painful death, I'm done for the night. Because my throat is scratchy as fuck. Hello, hobgoblin. Smack you with a mace. Smack you with a mace. Smack you with a mace. Well, that was... You know what? No, I'm sticking to it. I was going to say another one, but no. I'm, I'm done. Bye, guys. See you next time. Sorry for the short episode. Bye.